I, I heard from your colleague, yeah, uh, that you're, you've been carrying a banner on this march today. Uh, what is this march today, November the 9th? Um, the November the 9th march um, was basically a year since the um, first demonstration um, against the rise in tuition fees and scrapping of EMA, um, which took place last year, in 2010, about seven months after the coalition government got in. Um, it resulted in a um, brilliant demonstration, it was about 50,000, um, and also the occupation of Millbank, um, the Tory party headquarters. Um, what happened after that was magnificent, so a huge spread of demonstrations all across um, all across the country, massive student demonstrations of ethnic students okay. and that sort of thing. Um, and also, you know, it's part of, I think, sort of a rise in uh, revolt and resistance across the world, you know, that you see in Egypt um, and spreading across the Occupy movement, Spain, the Amistadas, that sort of thing. Um, but today, I think it would say, in a way, it's an anniversary of a year since the, the, the rise of the student revolt and that sort of thing, but also it's saying we're, we're still here, we're against the cuts, and that we're in support of our lecturers who are striking on the 30th of November. Um, what about the electricians' strike? What's going on with that? Well, the electricians, um, they're, being faced, they're facing um, a 35% pay cut by their bosses because they're dropping this joint industry board um, agreement, which is basically... Um, is, is what um, determines their pay. It, it is a huge attack on uh, on electricians' um, income and their working conditions and these sorts of things. And it's part of, um, I think, bosses and politicians' agenda everywhere to make ordinary people, working people, unemployed people pay for a crisis that was caused by rich, by the rich and by bankers and that sort of thing. So. Uh, so why did you choose not to return to Millbank, which was a fairly successful protest last year? Do you think this, this protest has been more successful in its message? Well, I think it's been different. I think that um, really the all eyes are on the 30th of November at the moment. We're about to see three million public sector workers out on strike. I think Millbank was very successful in that it was a catalyst. It um, lit on fire a, a whole wave of demonstrations. This, in a way, has been a, um, an important demonstration. It's targeting the city, which is different from, from the Tories' the headquarters, in a way, because it's saying, yes, we're against the cuts, but we're also targeting the rich, the corporate greed, and it's part as well of the St. Paul's occupation outside the London Stock Exchange. Um, personally, do you think that you would benefit from a, f a free education or whatever the uh, St. Paul's occupation is trying to achieve? So, I mean, I think everyone deserves the right to a free education. It's a basic human right. So, yeah. Um, what about, like, the um, this coalition that you're involved in to do with um, the treatment of protesters by um, police and civil liberties and the right to thing? Well, Defend the Right to Protest, what that is, is an organisation which um, was formed because of horrific police brutality of the student demonstrations last year yeah. and cuddling of students up to 10 hours in the freezing cold. Alfie um, Meadows. The, yeah, Jody McIntyre who's in a wheelchair and got pushed out of his wheelchair by the police. And beyond the attacks though, it's about also saying we have a democratic right to protest. And if the idea is that we live in a country which is meant to be at all democratic, which I actually think it's not, it, it, it's revealed, you know, it's revealed how, how much lack of democracy there is, and um, we need to defend it, we need to fight, not only against the cuts, but also for the right to fight against the cuts, you know what I mean? Um, is that alright? Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much.